This is an essay to video conversion. What is the cost of freedom? It's a phrase you hear politicians use. Maybe that's a tip off to start with. The man who fears, who sees nearly every one of his neighbors as a potential murderer, will surrender nearly everything. He will become a willing instrument in the suppression of his fellows. He will allow himself to be turned into a conscripted killer. Society becomes atomized into millions of fearful fragments, each reacting to the fantasized individual violence that gives rise to the political conditions necessary to begin real collective violence on a massive scale. War and genocide do not need a population of murderers. They need a large supporting population of obedient people. Factories must work overtime. Ammunition trucks need to be driven to where the bullets are needed. People must agree not to see, not to hear, and not to notice certain things. Orders must be obeyed, and the cost of freedom needs to be paid. Human beings are not natural killers. Very few people ever learn, ever learn to enjoy killing and torture, but they are docile enough to eventually be taught to kill, to accept and support killing, or to consent to killing on the command of an authority figure, most likely in the government or religion. When orders to kill are carried out under order from an authority figure, people entirely disassociate themselves from taking responsibility for what they've done. Our original sin was far from defiance or murderousness, it's obedience.